Hi everyone, welcome to online survey class 15. In this, uh, I'll be discussing a problem related to tachymetric surveying. So let's begin. First of all, this is your question. The under note, note readings were taken with a fixed hair tachymetric theodolite on a vertical staff. The instrument constant was 100. Calculate the horizontal distance and uh, difference in elevation between the two points, uh, station A and uh, B. So he is stating that it, this is a fixed head tachometer theodolite and uh, it is the staff is held vertical and uh, the readings are showing that it is having a vertical circle reading implies uh, the vertical angle that is alpha and beta are the alpha. So the angle made by the telescope or the line of sight with respect to the horizontal is given implies the staff is held vertical and uh, the line of sight is inclined. So in this condition the formula for distance uh, horizontal distance will be d is equal to f by i into s into cos square alpha plus f plus d cos alpha and the vertical difference will be d is uh, h is equal to f by i into s into cos alpha sin alpha plus f plus d sin alpha so these are the formulas to be remembered so here you are seeing that there are three three readings given in the each point so this implies that upper middle and lower readings the readings are here are 2.334 is upper 2.085 is a middle and 1.836 is a lower in this manner he has given us readings so the horizontal circle implies is he has given the bearing of the line a ax and bx also so let's see this in the figure so for example this is the north and this point is x where the instrument is placed and 33 degrees from the north so this is point a okay so xa is at an angle of 33 with uh, degrees with the north now xb is uh, making an angle of 202 uh, 209 degrees something so this is the other one so this is b so these two lines are uh, uh, viewed from a particular point which is x uh, so this is the figure i have formed in the right side for you so by using this we will be solving the horizontal distance between a and b so if you see that these two lines are not making any straight line they are making an angle with the straight so this the horizontal distance is to be found out here means a b this is the length we are trying to find out okay and uh, it uh, he also asked us to find out the vertical difference so let's see how to solve this first of all as the additive constant is not given it is being assumed that the telescope is fixed with the analytic lens so the f plus d will be 0 the additive co uh, constant is 0 he didn't mention uh, any additive constant so i am imagining that this telescope is fixed with the analytic lens and the additive constant will be 0 okay now in triangle uh, in the uh, for sorry part 1 i am dividing this uh, problem into two parts that is part 1 and part 2 in the part 1 we will be dealing with x a and in the part b part 2 we will be dealing with b x okay we will be dealing in individually so first of all we want to find out the horizontal distance xa so for the horizontal distance h1 the formula is just i have told f by into s cos square alpha plus f plus d cos alpha substitute the values that is 100 the readings are given in the table as uh, stated substitute the values and you will be getting the horizontal distance as 126.786 meters now we want to find out the vertical difference between x and a further the formula is v1 is equal to f by i into s cos alpha sin alpha plus f plus d sin alpha so substitute the values and you will be getting the value as 24.18 meters so we have solved the part one we have got the horizontal distance between x and a and also the vertical difference between x and a now we will be going to part two that is x b or bx so the in that horizontal distance h2 is equal to same formula but i am replacing the angle as beta uh, it is not going to matter much so f by into s cos b uh, cos square beta plus f plus d cos beta substitute the values and you will be getting the horizontal distance as 49.54 meters now we want to find out the vertical difference between x and uh, b same f by into s cos beta sin beta plus f plus d sin beta substitute the values and uh, you are going to get the vertical difference as 3.537 meters so we got all the details we, we have got the distance of ax and bx we have also got the vertical difference between ax and bx so first of all i am trying to solve the vertical difference between a and b so imagine this is the ground which he has given us 
so if you see here first of all we have to see the readings here first of all i just forgot so in this the readings of bx is showing a negative reading implies the view from x to b is a depression and x to a is a elevation so this is x standing here and the a is at a elevated point and b is at a depression depression point so that is the reason the angle beta or is making an angle of minus 4 degrees the below angles are taken as negative and the above as angles are taken as positive okay so please remember this so this is the ground and this is the telescope at x and uh, these two are the staff points the above is a and the below is b so for example x a the readings are given and x b the readings are given in this manner so the readings are upper middle and lower readings okay now taking i am taking this horizontal line as a line of sight so the height this is v1 which have we got just now this height is between the line of sight the horizontal line of sight to the middle crosshair reading so this is the height first one next uh, this height v2 is from the line of sight to the middle crosshair reading so this is the height so i want the level difference th between these two the distance required by me is this one so i required this distance i don't want v1 or v2 i want the distance between b and uh, a yeah, this is the distance i require so how i'm going to find out that so let's see what i'm going to do is i am going to add the middle crosshair reading this is the middle crosshair reading the middle crosshair reading is from bottom to uh, the uh, middle crosshair so this one plus v2 and then plus v1 minus the middle crosshair reading so then i'll be going there uh, getting the distance of these two points different vertical difference between these two points what i have to do i have to whenever there is a depression whenever there is a depression you have to add the whenever there is a depression you have to add the middle crosshair reading add the middle crosshair reading and the vertical height of that and the vertical uh, height of the elevation and uh, you have to remove the middle crosshair read, reading of the elevation point so that you want to get this height okay so let's see so the level difference between a and b is so this is the middle crosshair reading here is 2.085 3.537 uh, 3.537 is v2 24.818 uh, is the v1 and uh, 1.875 uh, is the middle cross reading in this condition so the total distance will be 27.92 so the vertical difference between a and uh, b is 27.92 meters that is your answer number one okay now the second one for finding the horizontal distance between a and b you need to understand the cause rule what is cause rule cause rule is uh, in this uh, triangle capital a capital b and capital c are angles and uh, small a b c are the opposite sides so if capital a is this the opposite side is small a which is the side this length okay if this is uh, capital b is the angle the small b will be the opposite side so in that uh, the cause rule states that a square plus b square plus uh, a square is equal to b square plus c square minus 2 bc cause of the angle so if at all you want to find out the angle if uh, uh, square of the side is equal to the square of this side is equal to uh, is equal to square of this plus square of this minus 2 times b and c into cause of the opposite angle so that is what a cause rule says so if you want to find out a square you want to uh, you you just need to know the angle here and the length of these two sides so by by knowing that you can find the distances so by using this uh, cause rule you will be finding the distance between a and b just i have told that these two lines ax and bx are not forming a sprite line so they are forming a small triangle so we will be finding the horizontal distance so the red line a b is the distance required the length a x and b x is not forming a straight line they are making an angle here so first we have to find out the angle a x b so we have to find out this one this angle here so by that we can solve this length a b first of all in triangle a x b the angle x the angle a x b or at the x is equal to 209 the 209 degrees 55 minutes 21 min uh, seconds minus 33 degrees 59 minutes 55 seconds how we got this is these two are the bearings of ax and bx for example this is the north this is a and this is b okay so this is 33 and this is 209 so i require this angle 
I just required uh, this angle. How can you get that? I have to subtract this reading uh, and this reading. So the difference of that will be equal to the middle reading. Okay. So that's what I have done. I have subtracted two, uh, 33 degrees 59 minutes 55 seconds from 209 degrees 55 minutes and 21 seconds. So that angle at X, the angle A, X, B is uh, 175 degrees 55 minutes 26 seconds. So now by using the cause rule, a b square is the distance which is required a b square is equal to a x square plus b x square minus 2 a x b x into cos of x that is angle a x b substitute the values and you are going to get the distance as 176.235 meters so the horizontal distance actual horizontal distance between a and b is 276.235 so this is the solution for these two problem uh, this problem so we have found out the vertical difference between a and b and the horizontal distance also and remember this is very much important uh, problem of this kind okay thank you